Okay, one thing I didn't cover in part one was cutting out the uh, holes for the VTX. And instead of putting it on top of the wing like there, like that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it inside and I'm going to channel out a hole going into the wing and then a hole going down through the wing so the skew plane and wheel, uh, the SMA connector on the, on the video antenna can just go right on top of the SMA. So. And this technique was uh, taught to me by Yuski from Team Base MRC himself. All right, so the video transmitter is now in place, and you can see where the battery is going to go next to it like that. And then the SMA connector can just go right down through the top once it's on. It makes for a nice, uh, clean uh, build. So the only thing on the outside of your wings are the servo uh, bays. That are All right, we're ready to glue this sucker together finally. I cut out the servo bays, cut out the VTX access for the antenna, the other servo bay uh, marked up where I'm going to apply the glue on the root, the wing section on the left, wing section on the right, and scratched up a little bit of the back side of the motor mount. Drew a line here to show no glue up there. Don't need that yet. Just here. And this is your friend. Scott shipping tape. Home Depot. Lowe's doesn't have it. Awesome stuff. Kind of get a bunch of strips going to get ready. Okay, because you're going to need a lot, a bunch of them, and uh, that's what I, this is the technique I use anyway. Now this here is so that if when it expands, any excess uh, that gets in the bay, the um, in there, the center section when it expands, I can just uh, pull the tape away and it will leave it clean and it won't fill in the bay with Gorilla Glue. All right, I wish I could film this. I'm going to try, but uh, uh, I don't know how well it's going to come out. Well, I apologize. My camera ran out of space when I was filming the uh, time lapse of me doing all this. Shit. So, I had a shot at Jack Daniels. I calmed down, so I'm back in the game. Uh, but I had to continue gluing this instead of t racing footage from my camera to make room. Well, because it's Gorilla Glue. So, uh, but this is what I came up with. She's uh, tried. I uh, just wanted to show you how I do it. Uh, I use all these strips to kind of like pull the sections together. Okay. Like that. Yep. Okay, so I'll use a couple long ones this way. I'll wrap around the nose. Like that. And then I'll run... One this way, and then this way, this way. This covers up the gaps as the foam expands, keeps it nice and flat. And then I do the motor mount last. It, this is all done consecutively, by the way. And then uh, the motor mount goes on, and I use two straps of tape going around, holding it tight as the glue sets. And then what I did was I put a big heavy battery in there that puts the bottom flush, make sure the joints down at the bottom are flush. Uh, put my ammo cans on top of the wing here, on top of the wing here, and she dried. And that's where we're at. I know I suck. I wanted to show you gluing it, but sorry. Can't win them all. Anyway, now what we're going to do is we're going to rip this tape off. And then we're going to uh, cut the slots for the uh, fiberglass uh, reinforcement rods. All right, the tape is off, and I've laid out the general location of the uh, fiberglass support rods. Uh, that's real generalized. Right there, uh, I'll measure it exactly. I think it's an inch back from the leading edge, and then uh, whatever you get there, wherever it fits. Uh, again, I'm going to use a silver. Uh, Sharpie from Michaels and I'm going to use this uh, Harbor Freight Tools $20 soldering iron All 
All right, they're uh, cut. Now we're gonna Gorilla Glue them in. Real simple. Just take a bead of Gorilla Glue. You know, as much as you're comfortable using. You don't want to use too much. Um, it's gonna expand pretty good. And lay a bead in there. Lay a bead in here. And you can even spray these ones like that. The rods and they're gonna go in like so press them down in there Okay, that's all it takes. That's gonna expand. Gonna okay, so they're taped up. The Gorilla Glue uh, white is drying underneath on the fiberglass supports bars. And while that's uh, setting up and drying, we're gonna work on the Elevons, uh, since we have nothing else to do. And here's where I depart differently a little bit from the plans. Um, you have the other ones, okay? Now, a lot of builders, they just do that. And then they cut here, you know, at a nice angle to make it uh, flush. And the wingtip comes straight back, and there's this gap, okay? Not me. Uh, what I do is I'll cut that other one flush, okay? So. What we're going to do is slide the other one over, get a zona saw, okay? I don't know if you can see this. Let me come from the other side. And move it over until you can get cut it all. And then just start cutting. And then just finish that off. Okay. Lost a little bit there. No biggie. All right. So now this is going to be flush with that. Then, on the root near here, on this section, okay, we put the other one flush down near the wingtip, almost flush, and you want a little bit of a gap, okay. We're going to take a ruler, we're going to come to the corner right here where the foam meets the motor mount. And we're going to come to the corner of this elevon right there, and we're going to draw a straight line right down. Okay. Now, you know, that's the line I'm going to cut here, and then I'm going to trim off some this way. Gives me plenty of room for my servo arm to still grab some elevon there. 
but I don't like that gap, you know, looking all funky on that side. Oh, by the way, uh, we're going to paint, after we cut them, we're going to spray paint them. And uh, I'm going to go with black on this one. Uh, red looks awesome too. This is uh, Cryline Shortcuts. Uh, uh, you can get that at Michael's. It's like four bucks. Works great on EPP foam. Dries quick, good color, and cheap. So when this happens and you have some remaining Gorilla Glue that bubbles up like this and foams out, all you do, take a blade like this, or a sawzall, Oh, excuse me, a zona saw, and uh, trim it off, flush, and repaint it. So we're going to sand her down with a uh, 100 grit sanding block and then we're going to laminate. That's going to be part three.